Well, hi guys. I've just got back from Mum's. Literally, just got in the door. It's almost eight o'clock at night. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I've just turned the computer on. I'm just waiting for that to do its thing and whatnot. Oh, I've got some videos to put together so I can upload one. Ooh, it's not cutting half my head off, aren't I? Right. Well, the good news is I've got three more mountain bikes sitting at Mum's. Only because I don't have the room here. <laughs> I am fresh out of room here. I need to get a couple shifted, I think. Um, it's one lady's mountain bike. Nice sort of purpley coloured one and two gents ones. One of them I can't sell just yet. Well, don't know if I will sell it because it's going to need um, fr um, front forks. Because uh, what's happened is the lock nut that goes on the top to stop the um, bearing cone from coming undone and to stop the uh, in this case the um, bracket for the brake cable because it's got cantilever brakes the top part there of the forks has actually snapped don't know how they've managed to do it but it has snapped off and to keep the bracket down for the brakes the um, they've used sort of like a lump of rubber with a jubilee clip around it but it's still a decent bike, it all works, brakes work, gears work, tyres are bald, <laughs> so it would need new tyres, a better set of pedals because one of them's actually broken, the plastic's broken on the end, that's all. Um, but yeah, I took it for a, pumped the tyres up and took it for a ride up the road, and that rides. Front derailleur is a bit sticky, I need to get a bit more oil on that, so I might take a uh, well, actually, thinking about it, I need a new can of WD-40, so I might get a new can to put, or to leave here, and take what I've got left in my other WD-40 can over to Mum's. Um, the other two, they're nothing special, but they're not in bad condition. They're um, called Professional, and I'm guessing they were like a his and hers bike, you know, like husband wife because uh, they're both the same brand um, they've both got the same accessories on the spokes like little swirly things with them um, like scotch light reflective on them um, so yeah I'm, I'm pretty certain they were like a you know husband and wife bike probably used a few times I don't think they're anything ultra modern but they're not in bad shape I've got um, caliper brakes, like racing bikes have, but the mountain bike version, which I know not even cheap bikes use nowadays, so, or very rare, it's not often I come across them, um, but it work, they all work, uh, f it didn't want to go into fifth on the gents one, but other than that, all the gears work. Same on the ladies bike, all the gears work so brakes just need a bit of adjustment I'm gonna swap the handlebar on the ladies one because the one on there is a bit eh. it's rather eh actually but uh, yeah I think it's just from perhaps being stored mostly in perhaps a a damp garden shed or something but rust wise they're in pretty good shape. Steel rims though, steel wheel rims, which is sort of a... Um, you know, it's not really wanted these days. But if someone wants a cheap bike, it's perfect for them. Uh, so, I should be going over to Mum's tomorrow again. Because Stepdad, what the hell did he want a hand with? Something he wanted a hand with in the garden anyway. Um, 
but I can't remember what it was. Was it land the base for the greenhouse? I can't remember. Weather permitting, of course, if it's pissing down with rain, then we won't bother, but I might, if I'm feeling up to it, I may not bother, but I might get Mum just to swing in round via the dump. Might be something coming, there might not. You don't know. You never know, that's the thing. Um, but those two races are still there, but I had a closer look at the gents one. Not brilliant. <laughs> It's not as good as I actually thought it was. Um, and not, not really worth the hassle or the effort, so that got left as well. But uh, I thought I couldn't, I couldn't walk away from the three mountain bikes. So I've got three adults ones. I may message my friend actually to see if her friend would prefer a purple one to the grey one. It's got mud guards. All three of them came with mud guards, actually, except the, well, the front one keep falling off of the um, ladies' one. I got pulled off in the car. <laughs> got caught on something and just pulled off. It's only pulled off the bracket. It'll slide back on, but I tried to slide it back on. I didn't do it properly, so it just fell off again. So we've taken it off for the time being. It's got bloody good tyres on that bike as well. Actually, both of the professional brand ones have got um, damn good tyres. It's only the um, black one, which I actually like. <laughs> so if I can't get the seat post out of um, the one I've got out front here, then that's not a bad thing, because maybe I could drop the forks out of both and uh, put the front forks from this one here in the one I've got at Mum's, and I would have a sellable one. And it would be upgraded to a uh, front suspension. Yeah, that one is front suspension. If I can't get the seat post out. But at the same time, that one I've got at Mum's would make an ideal trailer bike. Which means I could ditch that pissing thing. I still haven't taken it for a test ride yet. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get settled in... Uh, bring up Facebook actually. When I can find the bookmark, there it is. Got names on my lap. Every time when I come in, in fact, every time I come back from Mum's, or almost every time, he's sitting on the bedroom window ledge. Looking out of the window. Right. So I'm going to disappear because this camera's going to need a charge anyway. I'm just going to get these. Um, I think I've got three videos to put together, so it's not going to take long. Well, for as long as it takes for um, the editor to save it, so. I'm going to do that, I'm going to get myself a drink, I'm going to kick my boots off. I haven't got any bikes or anything to lock up because I haven't used them today. Someone, someone likes my comment. Yeah, my comment on what? Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Right, so I'm going to go and do that, and uh, I'll be back in a little while. I don't know why I do that with my eyes, it's just a random thing. People with Asperger's Syndrome do tend to do random weird things like that, you can do my eyes. Don't ask why, don't know. Anyway, see you later. I'm back, and I'm tripping over a toolbox. <laughs> Oh, one of these days I will get in here and I'll just completely blitz this room because it's getting on my tits. My man tits. <laughs> anyway, I was just talking with a friend on Yahoo, Yahoo Messenger, 
and um, you know, telling him about the three bikes I got today and I had to leave him at Mum's and he was like, why? And uh, I just said, I haven't got the room, I've got too many here. <laughs> and I've actually figured, or worked out, I've got, well if I count the, um, the turd that I've taken apart, I've got 16 bikes here. Uh, two of them aren't mine, well, the lady's bike on the land and technically isn't mine. That is technically sold. So I suppose three of the 16 are not mine. So that leaves me with uh, 13. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> Maths is not my strong point. It never was at school and it never will be. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I did get a message on eBay, I noticed. I don't know when, it just because I haven't checked my emails till this evening. Uh, making me an offer on the lady's bike I've got on the landing, but um, the reason I didn't relist it on eBay is because it's technically sold, so. But I have sent a message back saying I will have another one available. Probably for Monday. I could bring it back over the weekend if necessary. Or... If they're interested, I could get a picture, because I forgot to take the bloody camera with me. I've got a habit of doing that. I keep wanting to take the old camera with me wherever that's bloody gone. I've got this uncanny knack of losing cameras. Anyway, it's over there somewhere. Oh, it looks like we might get a frost tonight. Someone walking past. I'm just checking the bike system. This is why I hate the, f the fact that the light below my window doesn't work because I can't see my trailer. So I can't see if anything. Well, I can, but I can see a very faint outline. I can't see it enough to make sure that everything is still there. Uh, I think some of the stuff on that trailer I might take to the dump. I will ask my guy if he's still collecting or if he's just stopped because of how shit it is for collecting steel at the minute. But uh, I will ask him during the week. I've got this saw right in the roof of my mouth. And it was, wasn't too bad, but I think I've agitated it today because uh, it's rather sore tonight. And because I've got an overbite, see? See that? Because my lower jaw doesn't sit there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sits in the wrong place, too far back. And uh, one of the drawbacks is from that is every now and again, because my front lower front teeth rub just behind my upper front teeth on the roof of my mouth, it does from time to time, not often, but time to time, it does uh, create a little sore. So at the moment I can't actually close my mouth properly because it hurts, but it's not unbearable, it's just an annoyance more than anything. I could have when I well I could have had an operation done where they would have broken my jaw and pulled it forwards, but I figured it doesn't things like this don't happen on a regular basis, so why fix what isn't really broken? I can still talk, I can still eat, I can still breathe, I can still chew, so to me it's not broken. So, like I said, why fix what isn't broken? Dentists would have loved that, because I'd have got a lot of money from the NHS for doing such a thing, but it's probably why they get pissy when you don't uh, accept their treatment, because they don't get the money. <laughs> but uh, like I said, why fix what isn't really 
causing any problems. Well, apart from that saw, but like I said, it's literally once in a blue moon, maybe. But uh, never mind. That was all the time. It's just quarter to ten. I thought it was later than that. Oh dear. Well, I've got the videos made up, but again, for some reason, it's taking an insane amount of time to upload. So I'll. It might be a day or two before I get the videos uploaded. It depends what the, it's going to do tomorrow. It might work. I've had this before, and I can't remember what I did to fix it. Well, that'll be up by the time you see this anyway, because those videos will go up before this, but... It's just a little... it's a minor technicality, I'll solve the problem, <laughs> one way or another. Um, oh yeah! And my stepdad gave me this idea. Just turn you around for a minute. Um, he's just bought some mini... LED floodlights, 20 watt floodlights, because he needs to make a, um, what they call it, I think it's a protein skimmer or something they call it for the fish tank, um, so he's going to use these little floodlights for that, and I was actually looking at them and I thought, you know, I could actually put two underneath that shelf. One, maybe two under there. I don't know, because I don't know how bright these 20 watt LED floodlights are going to be. One under each shelf might be enough. So, he paid £10 for the pair um, on eBay. Uh, with free shipping. So I was going to try and find that listing. I sh well, weather permitting, I'll be going over tomorrow, as I've already said. So I'm going to see if he can give me the um, seller's eBay name, or even the item number, either or, it doesn't matter. And uh, I'll see if I can um, have a look and buy a pair, and just see how bright they are. Because I'm not actually sure how many I need, because I don't know. But if I just buy a pair, and if I need any more, then I could just go and buy another pair at that price. I've got, you know, a stupid length of little cable on them. I don't even know why they bothered. It's probably about six inches long, this bit of cable. But I am actually interested to take one apart to see if the earth wire is uh, connected. Because having watched so many videos from... BigClive.com on YouTube. It seems that even though the earth wire is present, they may not be connected. <laughs> so <laughs> that is something I will check. And, uh, yeah, well, it was just something that sprung to mind talking about these bikes. I didn't actually realise I had that many here. Well, actually. If I count the girls one I've still got out back, that would actually make 17. <laughs> I don't think I've forgotten any in the shed. I'm pretty certain I counted them all. And that's not counting the two frames I've got. I've got two frames. One racing bike frame and that giant mountain bike up here in the cupboard. Is that top? Good, the tires have stayed up. That's good. I've actually got two bikes that I could use as trailer bikes. I've got one at Mum's, um, which I could use because obviously I can't sell it with um, this bodged up piece of rubber in here to hold. It's got one of those brackets that go over the steer a tube but then the brake cable goes into it and then down to the cable bridge and onto the brakes. I haven't got a bike up here I can show you. But what's happened where the lock nut goes on top, I haven't needed to put one on this one, it's all snapped off so there's nowhere to put a lock nut. And the only way I could actually solve that problem is to put a new pair of forks in. Uh, at the moment I don't have any suitable 
So I've got a choice. It works as it is, apart from needing two new tyres. And the front dralia lubricated so it actually works. The gear cables are a bit rusty, but I can replace them as and when they snap or at a later date. Uh, adjust the brakes. The front one's a bit weak, so it just needs a bit of adjustment. I could use that as a trailer bike because it's got the right, um, I think, the right dropout at the back. I think I'd have to double check it. Uh, but the one out front I've got with the stuck seat post also has the correct style of um, rear wheel dropout. So that's another one I could use if I can get the seat freed. If not, I've just got another parts bike there and I could, uh, hopefully, if the steerer tube is long enough, drop the forks out of that one out front and take them over to mum's and put them in the bike over there. I am going to um, sort out a tool kit to take to mum's. So I'm going to want another one of them. About that size. I don't, won't need anything bigger. And I'm going to get uh, a couple of cheap sets of spanners, hexagon keys, uh, etc. And if I've got any duplicates of tools here, like pipe wrenches and things, Stanley knives, and I know I've got an overflow of pliers, but there is pliers over there. In well, I've got a toolbox already over there. So, in fact, I could just get a few more bits and pieces and just throw in there. Uh, perhaps a few official, you know, proper bike tools, not official bike tools, tools, proper bike tools to put over there as well. Mainly a chain splitter and a crank puller, because they're the most common tools I actually use, so I could always just run and borrow one from Biggles, but I like to use my own tools. Reason there being, if I break it, it's my fault and it's my tool. You know, if I break one of Biggles, then I'd have to replace it. So <laughs> I would just I just feel more comfortable using my own tools. That's all. Uh, yeah, I want to get in here and clear this bloody shithole up. Whoops! I found the bin. <laughs> uh, it was another quiet evening, I'm afraid. Some bike parts on there to move. I want some aluminium levers for something. What did I want them for? Oh yeah, the um, Silver Fox bike. But uh, these are not um, V-brake brake levers. I'm going to have to find a pair. I am looking for a mountain bike that I could use for parts. Shut up, noisy. Shush. Thank you. Don't make me come over there and kick your ass. I will. Don't give me that look either. I'll probably just make out his white outline right there. Almost looks like a bloody ghost on this bloody screen. <sighs> well, I don't think I'm going to get up to much else tonight. Apart from kick my boots off. Fire up the uh, interwebs. So I can use a laptop. For some reason, and I don't know what it, what's causing it, but... Every time I've used any laptop over here on the bed, the wireless has been slow as hell. It's perfectly fine in the lounge. It was perfectly fine on that laptop over at Mum's, but using it in here, I don't know if it's the fan interfering with it. It could be the fan interfering with it, actually. Come to think of it. Yeah, that's probably what it is. I've probably got interfer There's interference from somewhere because the connection... Is shit. <laughs> it really is shit. 
But like I said, I bring a laptop in here and use the Wi-Fi and it's absolutely fine. I use it over at Mum's and it's absolutely fine. In fact, I was in the opposite room at Mum's with that same laptop and it was still fine. But uh, use it over there and try and watch a video and it doesn't want to know. I still haven't decided if I want to stop off at the dump in the morning either. Or lunchtime whenever Mum decides to come and pick me up. <laughs> but like I said, because we're going to be working out in the garden tomorrow, if it's pissing down with rain then there's no point in me going over. Um, I don't think it's meant to rain. I'll probably stop off at the dump because you never know if something might be down there if you're lucky then two races which I might say sod it and get because I might be able to do something with the pair <laughs> it's a ladies one and a gents one um, the ladies one frames fucked not worth it it's a BSA frame though so it's a, you know a nice vintage brand but the frame is just so rusty and to me it's not worth you know rubbing down and paint stripping it and repainting it and putting it back together but if they are both still there tomorrow I've got a racer here as well that I could do with some parts for so and I always take the frames back to the dump when I'm done but I think a fiver each just for the parts, if anything, you know, to do the frame I've got here. It's worth it, isn't it? I don't need handlebar. Brake levers would be one. Brake calipers would be another one. I don't have many of those brake calipers. They're not very popular anymore. So, yeah. I would have got them today, but I think three bikes in the back of Mum's car is... Pretty much the limit. Might have just squeezed a fourth in. Just. <laughs> Your nose is cold and wet. I thought it was only dogs that are supposed to have cold and wet noses. Where have you been? Ooh, that really is cold and wet. Well, that reminds me, I'm going to have to do your tray very soon, but I've got to get cat litter. Cat litter, cat food. That's about it. Such an easy animal to look after. You know, they don't care if they get attention or not. Well, he loves it. He doesn't usually go looking for it unless there's a, you know, a visitor comes in. But, uh, yeah, he still loves his attention. Actually, I just thought, even if I strip both those racing bikes down for parts, I'll just take the frames down the yard and chuck them on the scrap heap down there. In fact, there's another... Actually, I'm not sure what to do with it. I've got a ladies' bike frame that I bought last year, sitting at Mum's. Now, the frame itself isn't too bad. It's not brilliant, but it's not too bad. But the forks in it were knackered. When they work, they were just so rusty and horrible looking when I took them out. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do with that one. Whether to just finish it off and strip it for parts, or... I don't know. See, I don't know about them races either. Oh well, I'll decide tomorrow. Because I know I can sell racing bikes, even the old ones, so... If I could actually, uh... Use that girl's bike... To get two put back together... It's more money. Then I can spend it on hobbies, I suppose. You know, I've got some... Lego projects I want to get on with, so... Ooh, now you see me. 
No, you don't. Well, sort of. <laughs> so he loves it. I'm just gently rocking around on the chair and he's just not a care in the world. I know what he wants. I haven't fed him since I've been home. Poor bugger. Although he hasn't asked. So I'm guessing there might still be some in his dish. Is there still some in your dish? Yes? No? Don't know? Meow now or forever hold your peace? No. If he wanted feeding he'd be crazing my ass. Right, well I'm going to disappear and go, well not go to bed, but I'm going to call it a night, another quick sort of, well not quick, but another vlog. Um, there will be some more sort of DIY E type videos to come, because I've got those shelves to put up in here, I've got some more shelves to put up in the bedroom, be be bedroom. I've got a bit of a stutter. Mm -hmm. Wet my lips, that might help. Getting dry lips for some reason. Right. I was just trying to think if there's any other sort of DIY type tasks I've got to do. Uh, I'm still actually think before I buy those floodlights. I might look into what other LED lights are available that I could stick under there. Because I don't want them too bright. But I don't want it too dark either. Because it's not just to light the town up. It's so I can see what I'm doing when I'm building on the town. I'll think of something. I'll find something sooner or later. There's no rush for that because I barely use the lights that are up there. Any that didn't feel too good from this chair. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll uh, talk to you again soon. Bye bye.